Hello everyone, I'm going to be reviewing Black Widow. Um, just saying with this review, I'm not going to be doing what I did with Space Chimney Legacy and did it for like 21 minutes. Uh, it's going to be over 10, 8 minutes, like 5 to 10 minutes around there. But yeah, let's just get started with this review. So, Black Widow is directed by Kate Shortland, screenplay by Eric per uh, Pearson. Story by Jack Scaffer, Ned Benson, based on uh, Marvel Comics, produced by Kevin Feige, starring uh, Florence Pugh, uh, Scarlett Johansson, David Harbour, uh, Harbour, sorry, David Harbour, O.T. Fagel, Benel, whatever, Ogler, Kirk Lecko, uh, William Hurt, Ray, Ray Winstein and Rachel Wes, a cinematical feat from Gabrielle Bernstein, uh, edited by Lee Folsom Boyd and Matthew Schmidt. Uh, music by Lauren Baffle and production companies from Marvel Studios. Dis distributed by uh, Walt Disney Studios Motion Pictures. Uh, released June 29th, 2021 and World Premiere. And July 9th, 2021 internationally. It ran for 134 minutes. The budget for this movie is $200 million. In the box office, it got $159.2 million. <laughs> Plot. Um, yep, there are spoilers. Uh, if you have not seen it, this is a spoiler review as well, um, because, yeah. Anyway, let's, let's tell me the plot. A 1995 Russian undercover agent uh, super soldier, Alexo Sozvoko, I don't know how to say that name, and Black Widow, uh, Milena Voltskov, pose a normal family, uh, pose as a normal family in Ohio with their surrogate daughters Natasha Romanoff and Lena, uh, Yelena Belova. Uh, when the mission to steal shield uh, intel is complete, the family escapes to Cuba and renovates with their boss, General Dravekov, uh, who has Romanov and Plover Belova taken to the Red Room for training. Years pass and Savalkov is imp imprisoned in Russia with while well, Maximov defects to shield after bombing Dravok's Budapest office. Apparently killing him and his young daughter, Antina, uh, Antonia, and acts that haunt Romanov. Um, so the cast for this, we got Scarlett Johansson as Natasha Romanoff or Black Widow. Florence Pugh as Elena um, Belova. Um, <laughs> we got David Harbour as Alexa Sozvoko. I'm terrible with Russian. Is it Russian? I can't remember. Russian. Yeah, it is Russian. Um, uh, and he is oh, Red Guardian. O.T. Fagel. Uh, Fagel Benel is Mason. Ogla Kinklo is Task. Can I ask that? Yeah. I think I just spoiled that. Yeah. Anyway. Um, William Hurt is... Thunderous Rol uh, Ross uh, Ray Winstein is Dravok uh, and Rachel Wise is uh, Melina Voltskoff Production In February 2004, Lionsgate acquired the, the film's rights for Black Widow and in April announced David Hart Hater as a writer and director of the film with Marvel Studios A.V. Edrard producing by June 2006, Lionsgate has dropped the project and the rights reverted to Marvel Studios. Hater and Marvel tried getting another financer to develop the project, but uh, but Hiata never felt comfortable that we had to find another place that was willing to take the movie and the character seriously. This left Hater heartbroken, but he hoped the film would be uh, made someday. Yay. Um... Let's just say what I think about Black Widow. Um, this is not the weakest Marvel film, uh, but it is not the best Marvel film. It is, uh, it is a disappointment movie, a disappointing movie. I think it, I thought it was actually going to be like really, really, really good. It's just a, I mean, it's a good movie, but it is not like a, it's not a outstanding Marvel film. 
That's what I was expecting from this film, which I did not receive, but I'm fine with it. I still really enjoyed Black Widow. Um, the villain of Taskmaster, terrible villain. Terrible. I... Yeah, uh, Taskmaster's just not good at all. Um, he was a let down to the movie after, well, she, because I found, I found out that person who was looking after Natasha for most of her life since her father uh, took her away, you know, like, by these special, I don't know what they're called, how high, I don't bloody know, um, <coughs> they got uh, Elena and uh, Natasha, the old guy with glasses, I don't know what his name was, uh, it was his daughter, who was Taskmaster, um, yeah, I don't really like her character, but <laughs> I guess we have to deal with that. Um, Black Widow overall, it's a good movie. Uh, it's fine, I enjoy it, but yeah, that's mostly all I have to say about Black Widow. Now for my school for Black Widow, I'm going to be giving it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. Percentage, I'm going to be giving it a 75%. Red, I'm going to be giving it a B. And out of 10, I'm going to be giving it a 7.5 out of 10. Thank you for watching my review for Black Widow. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel. It'll be a big help. Thank you for watching. Take care. Peace.